sweep of the preamp. Sweep of the first bi-directional amp. Sweep of the bandpass filter. Sweep of the crystal filter with bi-directional amps. XG3 connected at 40 meters, 107 dBm, minus 107 dBm. XG3 connected to first preamp. XG3 connected to preamp and first bi-directional amp. XG3 connected to preamp, first bi-directional amp. Bandpass filter, mixer, crystal filter with bi-directional amp. I'm now going to measure the performance of the Born Again LBS uh, modules in the new backplane. It's got a similar configuration as the original LBS. We've got a dual uh, bi-directional amp here, which is the same as the preamp first bi-directional amp in the LBS. We've got a bandpass filter and a mixer below the bandpass filter. You can't really see it there. Followed by the crystal filter. Followed by a, a pair of bi-directional amps here. This is connected. The output's connected to my spectrum analyzer, the inputs connected to my XG3, and the local oscillators being fed by my SI5351 signal generator. So this is what the spectrum looks like when everything is turned off and I've got markers set to the various uh, frequencies and I'm running an average of over a hundred just to make sure I uh, get any sort of jitter out of the uh, measurement. So I'm now going to turn on the uh, local oscillator here and I have it already tuned to the um, appropriate frequency that will let a uh, 7.1 megahertz signal make it through the crystal filter and uh, we'll take a look and see what the spectrum looks like. So here's what spectrum looks like. Uh, the peak number two here is at uh, 12 megahertz, which is the local oscillator. And peak number four here is the uh, input signal, which should be nothing there. And uh, peak number one is what's making it through the crystal filter. And then there's a harmonic out here at peak number three, which is at 24 uh, megahertz. So the XG3 is turned on and it's feeding a 7.1 MHz signal at minus 107 uh, dBm into the input port. And here's what the spectrum looks like. You can clearly see a peak. Marker 1 is a peak at uh, 4.9, so that's at minus 59.6 uh, dBm. And uh, in prior videos, the um, signal that was coming out of the um, original LBS was approximately minus 61 dBm. So this is as good and maybe a little better as the original LBS. I now have the XG3 putting out a minus 73 dBm signal. And this is what it looks like on the spectrum analyzer. The 4.9 megahertz signal 
is at minus 26 dBm so it's very very strong as a comparison I have got the XG3 generating a uh, 14 megahertz a 20 meter uh, signal coming in so and this is what it looks like on the spectrum analyzer as you can see marker 1 at 4.9 megahertz there's uh, very little signal coming in it's almost in the noise floor and uh, this signal is still coming from the local oscillator which is set to 12 megahertz so this is showing that uh, the bandpass filter is uh, working quite well and it's taking out any signals that uh, would make it into the uh, mixer and onto the uh, crystal filter